Good morning, everyone. I'm in another corner of my house because there's noise up in the top corner <laughs> where I've been um, um, making my um, devotionals. Um, so I am relegated to another corner, but it's a comfortable corner and it's a sunny corner. It's been quite cold, yeah. So you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, it's lovely and sunny outside. And then you put your nose out the rack and you go, oh, but it's not warm. <laughs> So it's really winter, yeah. Um, and for us, um, it was minus, I can't think now what my nephew sent on his, it was like minus, I don't know, eight or three or I don't know. And it's so funny because our friends from Germany often send us their little thing on their car and it's like minus like 11. And they're like, like we are so <laughs> weak, yeah. But it was freezing. Ephesians 1 verse 18 says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance and his holy people. And we are all called, we, every single one of us, those who believe in Christ, those who don't believe in Christ, those who believe in the God of Israel, those who don't believe in the God of Israel, it doesn't matter. We are all called. He is calling us the whole time. He is calling us to... To, to spread his word, those of us who already follow him, um, so that we can be the ones calling in the darkness for the people that don't know Christ. And this is important to know, that we are all called. He wants us to look in our darkness and be enlightened, that he wants us all to be with him. This God of ours is concerned about who we are, what we're doing, where we're going and how we are how we are doing it um, and at the moment in South Africa it's looking a little bit um, it's looking a little crazy um, the last few uh, days um, almost a week now I'm trying to think has been quite hair raising I mean even before the first lockdown there was trouble in our country and trouble with our politics and trouble but in all countries I mean it's it's not a it's not a new thing and, and trouble with our economy, especially also. And then in the last few days, um, now here in July 2021, there has been unrest. And there are certain pockets in our country that have been quite badly affected. And people have, you know, there's been looting and protesting. And, uh, and people have been in quite severe danger. And the one thing about this raiding and and posturing and and violence is not about um, like it used to be in South Africa a, a racial thing. Um, it really it's political, but it's not racial, and it's and that's almost a weird space for us to be in because we're not used to it. But the problem is with these looters and these uh, people that are causing the unrest and and making people fear it's now like they're doing it to their own people people who do not agree with them it used to be the whites do this and the blacks do this but now it's not now people have been kicked out of their own hometowns by the people that live around them People had to leave, given so many hours to leave their homes who did not agree with them. Um, it, it, it's been quite sort of serious and dangerous. Extra. Because it's not, it's kind of wild and, and uncertain. And so many people um, are now doing, having to do without and we're having to have contingency plans and we're having to ship food around and 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 buck, you know pull our belts in which we have already been doing because of covid and before because our economy wasn't so great and now we've got to do it like extra and there's so much fear out there but i pray for the eyes of the hearts of those who are causing the trouble that they may be opened and enlightened that they may know the hope to which they were called and the riches of God's glorious inheritance. So 
so that they can come to be his holy people. So for those of you out there that are causing you the trouble in the world, I pray for your eyes to be opened. For those of you out there that are actually victims of this circumstance, I pray for your safety and, your, and that you can flourish. And I ask God for peace for you. So I'm not going to give you anything to ponder. I know that there's lots of things to ponder. But ask who you can pray for in these times. Have a wonderful day and we'll speak again tomorrow.